were built all over the world. Records of ancient primitive civilizations that had no contact with each other revealed that they worshiped a colossal god, a god of sugar. Mysterious and enigmatic texts dating from that era were found. It is said that the texts were used to invoke this god. Has anyone finally managed to decipher those texts? 
Could this be the end of the world as we know it? Is this god really that sweet? Or could the monuments have been built by aliens? We hope that one day our great hero Carl can tell us the whole truth about this enigma. They say this is the origin of the mighty god of sugar! <laughs> he who is omnipresent! <laughs> oh, oh! Oh! Stop! Stop! Push this to No! No! Don't say that! Push this to That's not true! Oh! Oh! of Mayo Nedger. Mayo Nedger's dream has always been to become a big action movie star. Until one day the evil Lord Gorkil brainwashed Mayo Nedger into believing he was going to be in a real action movie. 
Because of his fierce looks, Mayo Netcher was recruited by his master to guard an important mayonnaise distribution field. Now he hopes to defeat his enemies in the timeless movie to win the award of the Film Academy of the Land of Food. What are you made of? Mmm, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Me? Yeah, I like it from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> wow, your teeth are pretty bad, aren't they? <laughs> wow, right. Can you show your favorite move to the people at home? <laughs> Oh dear! I knew it wasn't going to end well! Welcome, boys and girls, to another Carl's Racing Stage! This time on the Hot Dog Circuit from the Hot Dog Hills! Today's race promises a lot of emotion, surprises, and fun for all! The competitors are heating their engines to start, and oh my sweet carrot! Hot Dog burned the start and took the lead! Hey, Judge, is that allowed? Rock Shock takes the lead! This chocolate cookie is really fast, and he's the race's great promise! And ouch! He's out! That's gotta hurt! Hey, look! Milky is overpassing everyone! I think he might be the champion! Or not! Hot Dog leads the competition! With cheats and tricks on everyone that gets near him! Look! Hot Dog leads the competition with cheats and tricks on everyone that gets near him! Looks like he's really watching that prize! Carl tries his luck by defying Hot Dog for the first place, but I think he's still gotta eat a lot of baked beans to get it! Holy potato! Super Johnny! Johnny gets Carl's Leap Special and increases his speed by 10 fold! The race is coming to an end! Will Johnny be able to surpass them in time? Wow! Johnny is the big winner of the day! We found something very confidential. Almondagoni's secret diary. The villain Almondagoni wrote everything in his diary about the dangerous mission given to him by Lord Gorkil. Gorkil was tired of having his evil plans beaten by Carl's team. That's why he ordered Almondagoni to split Carl's team apart. He went after the most terrible villains to form a super evil team. He first went after the most scary one, absurdly powerful Mandragus, but Mandragus was on vacation and did not want to join along. So he went to recruit Zuzuba, the incredible candy sorceress, but unfortunately, Zuzuba had chicken pox. He continued pursuing lots of villains, but no one accepted his invitation. Would it be fear of the heroes? Were they being lazy? Or should I stop reading this diary and just call myself crazy? <laughs> it rhymed. <laughs> well, fact is that Amontagoni was about to quit. He went to the land of quitters, a boring place, appropriate for losers like him. There he found the most clumsy villains he knew. Hopeless, he made the invitation to those losers. And by irony of destiny, they accepted. They weren't doing anything better anyways. <laughs> and that's how he formed his team of losers. Oh, oops. I mean, his elite team that would put an end to the hero's victories. Do you think they managed to beat Carl and his team? Well, I cannot tell you that right now because I gotta go do my homework. <laughs> <laughs> the Past of the Jelly Monster Once upon a time, there was a terrible witch who lived in the middle of a mysterious forest on the top of a tower. 
There, the witch prepared a secret recipe from a magic powder purchased in the nearest supermarket. And that was how Jelly Monster was born! A jelly made with too much sugar and preservatives with artificial flavors of tutti frutti and grape. Finally, Jelly Monster devoured the witch, and since he was still hungry, started to attract more children to his cabin. Look who's on vacation! So, how are you, Jelly Monster? Hey, I know that you don't want to be disturbed, but since we're here... Hey, slow down! Big fella, do the pepperoniuses know you're here? Wow, they're going to be so mad at you! Oh no, you're crazy! Stop! Well, at least now he stopped shouting! Huh? <laughs> 
Gummy Oswald. Oswald was a gummy monster who failed his grade several times at school. That all changed when he was taken in by a mysterious mentor. In no time, Oswald acquired lots of knowledge from the evil helmet that Lord Gorkill gave him. He just didn't know that it was transforming his brain into sugary sweets. Today, his favorite hobby is defeating and humiliating his enemies in a quiz show. Gummy Oswald rarely loses. What about you? Do you think you can beat him at the quiz game? <laughs> Oswald, how are you today? <laughs> wow, you are really in the mood, aren't you? Do you like gummy candy? Oops, what happened? <laughs> oh, having trouble hitting the button? <laughs> oh, hi, Milky! <laughs> Oops, I think the interview is over, don't you? Ha 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 ha! 